Okay, we're talking with Stanton Gill of Fountain Quest Farm or Fountain no, Ridge. Fal Falcon Ridge. Fal Falcon Ridge Farm. What's the key to producing really good apples like you manage to do every year? Well, one thing we do at our farm is we use a lot of organic material uh, in the soil, put compost in there to grow them. A lot of it is the thinning of the fruit that's done early in the season, right after they form, so it sizes up nicely. And also you're pruning, so it gets maximum sunlight in there, and the flavors are very, very high. The sugars tend to be higher in our fruit than you can find in most grocery stores. A lot of people don't realize, because they see apples in the stores years round, fall is the time for good apples. Absolutely. On apples, they have the best flavor as it gets into the cooler weather, where it's sunny during the day, then cool at night. Uh, we've been into this weather pattern basically all of September, October, so it's excellent quality this year. Um, and how many, you have a relatively small orchard or is it pretty big? Or it? Our uh, whole farm is 70 acres, about uh, 12 acres is in the fruit uh, growing section. We have 43 different varieties of apples that we grow up at our orchard. Um, are there different ways of growing different apples? Do you have to tend them differently during the season they're growing or is it all basically the same? Well, they, they're trained differently. Some of them we train on wires where it's in the, what's called a flat fan system and other ones uh, are in a typical dwarf system where it's a tiered system. And how about uh, bugs and so forth getting to them? Is that a big problem? Not a big problem in our farm. Being an entomologist, uh, we use a lot of the techniques that uh, have been developed to the University of Maryland. You know, we're using disruption pheromones and we use different uh, bacteria to control insects. It's the end of October when we're recording this. How long will we have, be able to get good apples, fresh local apples? Oh, we'll be able to continue apples right into Thanksgiving. Uh, some of our late varieties like Gold Rush, Pink Ladies, and Fujis really get better when we have those cold nights and have a few frosts. Do you sell any of your apples online? Uh, there will be some sold to the Olney Market, uh, the new virtual online market that's going to be offered for the December market. Do you have a lot more still left? Uh, we have a lot of uh, apples left. We have Fuji's, the Gold Rush are still to be harvested, and the Pink Ladies. We'll have many of those. Have, how long? How many years have you been doing this? Uh, uh, we bought the farm in 2000, and it came into production in 2004. So we've been producing for about 10 years now. Did you have to? Did you plant the trees originally? Yes. So it takes four years to. At least four years to uh, start on production from the trees originally planted. Everything is a dwarf or semi-dwarf uh, hunter stock. <laughs> Uh, a little distraction there. Um, and so it takes about four years to get start production. It's about the sixth year that it gets into full production. Okay, thanks a lot. All right. We're done.